to the ceiling. You ready? <laughs> okay, kid. One last time into the breach. It's been a long road. The miles are showing. On <laughs> both of us. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Happens to the very best of them. It's been a privilege working with you all this time. I mean that. And it will also be a privilege coaching you to one last victory inside the octagon. Come on. Here we go. All right. Get your head on straight. Soak it in. You ready? I'm ready. Let's give him one more show. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion. And despite being at the top of the division right now, this will be his last career UFC fight. I know some fans have said he's walking away too soon. He is doing so with peace of mind. Of course, all of that said, he would like nothing more than to go out on top, to retire with the belt around his waist as the UFC champion. We'll see if he can do it. tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 50 wins, 20 losses. He stands six feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, presenting the challenger, Alexander Drago Volkov. And now, Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 48 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dubois. Isaac for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. So here we go with round one. Tickets for this one were sold out almost immediately, and this man is a big reason why he is the current champion. He has said he is close to retirement. Oh! A couple 
couple of chins here being tested early. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hooked. A finish could come here at any time. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only... Oh, oh. oh big diving punch lands up top. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Back to the feet now. Nice loop and punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. It's nice defense there. Huge block. All right, he'll engage in a single combo. Oh, big right. knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take oh. that oh. Huge right hand! for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 18 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the unprecedented UFC heavyweight champion of the world, And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with Atmos. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.